Hi, my name is Lindsay Woodmeyer and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. Today we will be covering the creation of custom lathe tools in CamWorks, so your turning tools. I'm going to start by showing you how to customize something from your CamWorks tool library instead of creating the tool from scratch right away. As this is a more common situation and will usually give you your desired result in half the time. You can easily manipulate the shapes and sizes and even orientations of your inserts. I can just show you on this part here, the inside profile is on a slight angle, and I would like to create a grooving tool that will cut in this location. In my tool pass, you can see that my default grooving tools are in the vertical orientation, so they'll cut vertically. I have the groove rough. The finish does the same thing, cutting vertically and not into the uh, angled section. I've added a groove finish tool path I'm going to edit. So I can right click on it and choose Edit Definition. As you can see by the default, the regular grooving tool is automatically chosen. Under my Tool tab within the Groove Insert options, you can actually change all of these parameters and sizes just by either entering a new size or using the arrows. Under the Preview picture, if you uncheck the box, you'll see a diagram showing you the dimensions referenced behind it. And then if we go to the Holder tab, this is where you're going to change the shape of the holder, or in the bottom section of the window, you can change the orientation of the insert within the holder. For this example, we want to change the lead angle to 15 degrees in the negative direction to position it on the uh, right side. Okay, and then it'll show up in the preview. We can press OK and close the window, and then generate our toolpath, and now simulate. It'll go through showing our roughing toolpath in the vertical direction with the default tool from the tool library, our finishing pass, and then it'll use our custom tool to cut at the angled section. Okay, so that's a quick and easy way to customize tools, especially if you're just changing the orientation of an insert. Another option would be to create an insert from scratch. So I have a part here that would be impossible to cut in one pass. I'm just going to section it here so you can see the inside a little better. So I'd like to create a custom tool to fit into this part. So I started by creating the uh, insert. So this is my insert, and I'll show you the sketch here. So this is the most important part in creating a custom tool, is the sketch. You need to make sure the origin is within the tool tip center. So right there. Um, I'm going to exit the sketch, and I've added a thickness to the insert. So I chose an eighth of an inch for this example. And then I'm going to go to my user defined tool holder options. It's going to give me the message saying uh, geometry not valid sketch must contain zero point. I'm going to press OK and bring up my create tool holder window. So the reason it gave me this message was because it's by default set to the mill tool. So we want to change this to turn insert. And now it shows up in the preview window, which is an indicator that your sketch and part were drawn correctly. If it doesn't show up in the preview window, you'll want to check your sketch for issues. So I'm going to save the insert so we can go to the browse where we want to save it, press the green check mark to exit the operation, and then we're going to go into the technology database to set up the new tool. Choosing tooling, turn tooling, inserts, and then user defined inserts. So I've already entered the thickness into this window, an eighth of an inch. And I've also added a comment so that I know that it's the test insert. And then I found where I saved it from the previous step. So we can close it at this window and then go back a level and choose Turn Tool Assemblies to match this insert with a holder. So to create a new assembly, you'll click on the New Blank Record button at the bottom left. That will bring up this new area where we'll choose the insert type as User Defined. And then we need to locate the insert we just made. You can see my comment shows up as test insert, showing me that I have the correct insert. We can choose holder or boring bar for the holder type. And then when you click the, on the button beside here, you'll find a list of holders to choose from. So I'll just choose one that will fit and press OK. And then OK again. And then we can completely close out of the technology database. I'm going to go back to my part where I've already added some tool paths here. 
You can see I have some drilling tool paths, a bore rough, which I've added my new tool assembly to. To do this, you'll go into the tool crib tab within the operations parameters. You'll choose add and then go to turn tool and press OK. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this list, you'll see uh, the custom tools. So I've already added the tool to my list and selected it. So we can close out of the operation and I can just simulate the tool path to see how it works. And I can actually section the simulation by pressing the blue button here and I'm going to choose half. And I'll start the simulation over and now you can see the tool, the custom tool is working properly. In today's video, we covered how to change existing tools as well as how to create your own custom insert and assembly. Thanks for watching.